Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani from learn-adoption.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about custom add-on in test project. So let's see what exactly we are going to cover in this particular video. We'll talk about what is add-on in test project, how to install it and how to use it. So in this video, we are going to talk about how you can install and use the existing add-ons which is available in test project. But in case if you want to build your own custom add-on or you want to create some add-on which can be helpful for other community members as well you can create the custom add-ons definitely there are some terms and conditions so we'll talk about custom add-on as well if you want to create from the scratch but this video will mainly focus on how we can use the existing add-ons which is available in the test project The moment you log into test project you will see add-ons option on the top uh, along with these options and you can also see all the add-ons options here so you can see the frequently used add-ons or add-ons of the week they will highlight here so you can see the add-ons of the week is google authenticator otp automation and other highly rated or frequently used extension you can see so uh, let me click on add-ons so the moment you click on add-ons you can see they have these are the community add-ons which you can use and in case if you want to create your custom add-ons as well that also options you will get but right now we are going to talk about the test add-ons which is available how to use it and uh, all the activities which we can do using these add-ons so right now you can see uh, let's say i want to see what exactly this add-on is all about so the moment i click on element extension so you can see this um, extension is developed by a test project guys and uh, it works on all the platform on web android and ios and what exactly it does it will give you some advanced activities or the actions just like double click element count x uh, you know x path uh, element location element tag name x and so on so you can see all these right now Apart from this, let's say if I want to see some other um, extension like web extensions. The moment you click on web extension, just click on this and you will see it is supported for web applications. And the moment you see the description, this particular extension or add-on will give you different actions for your web automation. Okay, so like how do you want to handle the cookies? How do you want to handle the different type of click events working with different selectors and mouse over different kind of windows handler alerts handler everything you will get when you install this extension so when you scroll down further you will find all the methods which is related to handling alert handling cookies all the actions class event like double click single click drag and drop all these other handling drop down execute javascript so many different methods you will get once you install this particular add-on so let me show you how to work with these add-ons, how to install, how to use them. So let's click on install. It will take few seconds and it will be installed in your test project. So you can see right now it is installed and now you can start using it. So let me show you how to use this. The moment you install these add-ons, you can see that you will get this option called installed. I have another add-on installed in my system or in my test project is JavaScript action. Using this add-on, I can execute a couple of JavaScript command. You can see, click using JavaScript, type using JavaScript. So these are the two frequent methods we can use with this add-on. So right now I have two add-ons in my system or in my test project. So let me show you how it works. For this, let me create a quick test and I will show you how it works. So let me go back to my project and let me create a new test. I'm going to create a web because the extension which I install it only works for web so click on next it is asking you give me the test name I will say handle alert description also you can give the same if you want and click on next select the web application now right now we have only one application if you want to add any other application click here and I will be using this application which is KSRTC the moment you click on search for buses without entering any detail you can see this alert option is coming 
and you will notice the moment you start test project recording recording will not record these kind of event which is alerts so for this we already have a extension so i'm going to use this particular application and i will say this is uh, alert site and url also i will pass and click on finish so this site is already coming now and now let's click on next now do you want to record the test yes so click on record click on start testing mm -hmm. it will take few seconds okay so now our web application has been loaded and you can see we can do all the activity which we want so right now i want to click on this particular search for buses option okay so let me scroll down i want to click here so the moment i you can also see it is also recording this is scrolling options so maybe we will remove this because i have one other alternative for you so just click on this button the moment you click on this button this activity will get recorded in the left panel and you can see now we have alert now the moment you try to inspect this alert it is not supported because it's a different javascript alert so test project also will not be able to record it using default recorder for this we already have a extension so let's see how it works now i also want to uh, highlight one more thing you can see this particular chat box right so you can ask this um, any questions or query to this chat box sometimes this will create a problem so we can click on this particular icon which will not disturb us so click on this icon as well and this also got recorded so let me do a few enhancement in the test i don't want this so i will delete these three scrolls okay and if you don't want to do one by one there's one small handy option what you can do you can select multiple steps which you don't want and you can delete them okay so right now we have only a few so it does not look you know that um helpful but consider a big test scenario where you want to delete 10 to 15 steps which is not maybe applicable or maybe it got uh, deprecated in that case multiple selection will definitely help you and i can rearrange them because first i want to click on that particular option then i will click on button so let's click uh so let's add a new step the moment you add a step it will give you multiple option okay so this is the comment and this is the type so type i will say that i want to do some action click on this option now you can see this select action which action you want so guys this is very interesting so this is the option which you can see right this is a small icon the moment you put mouse over it will show you that this action is coming from which extension or add-on so right now you can see one two all this cookies related alert related are coming from that web extension which we installed okay so right now before accepting the alert i also want to capture the text because this is what we do in testing we do validation so i also wants to validate the text which is coming on that particular alert so for that i will say get let's see what different methods we have for uh, get so we have a couple of you know actions here let me search for get alert text something like that this you will get directly from their documentation so you can see they have a predefined action which will return you the text from that alert the moment you use it and another interesting part they also provide validation so along with capturing what else you want to do once you capture the text so i want to do validation so you can put a validation that uh, you want to deal with field and what kind of validation you want i want to check whether that alert text contains this particular keyword or not so let me show you the moment you click here you can see it it shows please select a start date or place so i want to check whether this alert contains please select or not so i am using please select this is the text which i'm expecting okay and the moment i click on create this step will get added and you can see get alert text clear 
now this got captured uh, by mistake so let me delete this so first it will minimize that particular chat box then it will click on that search button it will capture the text and that's all now finally if you want you want you can delete or accept the alert for that as well what you can do click on element action and uh, click on select action click on accept alert and that's all so first it will capture then it will accept the alert and that's all this is our test ready so you can you know uh, stop the recording or you can directly close the session and this particular step will be recorded so this is the test which we recorded and it is ready to use now if you want to just cross verify just check it once now if you want to see how it works let's go back to this and let's run this particular test and I want to run on Chrome Windows yeah let's run this so it is going to start minimize click on that it captured the text and ideally it should accept the alert and here we go and you can see it executed our test successfully without any issue it captured the validation and it did all the stuff so this is how you can use the custom add-ons which they created or if you want to create your own custom add-on you can create so just go back to add-on section and explore what are the different feature uh, like community add additions you can check what are the different add-ons they have which one will be useful for you you can install and you can start using it okay so these are the list of options and uh, just check it out once and let me know if you find any other info uh, let me know if you find any other useful add-on which I should also try let me know in the comment section and I will try my best to create separate video on that so this is what I have for today in case if you like this video hit the like button share with your friends and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye